I believe that all of you here want to be a leader in the future, right? And you want to do a lot of big things. Uh, you want to be the entrepreneur, same as me, the business owner or doctor or anything. But why the word leader now need to have the, another adjective is digital. So I will share to you everything to get ready to be a digital leader in the future. Okay, so what is changing during the period of history, the uh, development of the economy and everything? So, and why must it be digital? We need to have a big picture of what happened with our industry, with our country and everything, what's going on with all the company. So you know what to learn, which skill you need to prepare to be ready when you graduate from school, from university, and you go to the company to work. Okay, so here is the four industrial revolution. So we need to understand what change in the way we do business and the way we develop our economy. We have a lot of work right now on the social media, on the news from the government, TV show, everything we heard about digital transformation. We heard about industry 4.0 and what is that? At first, from the 1784, we utilize on the steam and water power. And then we have a lot of mass production with on the electrical power. And after that, we have a lot of computers, IT system, and robotics. And now, we have a lot of smart factory. We have a lot of uh, system with the internet of things, IoT, and machine learning. And Last month and even until now, we are so wow about ChatGPT, right? And all of that utilize on the internet, social network, and everything. So you can see a lot of signal of Wi-Fi in the industry 4.0. That's why currently is the we call the digital age. In digital age, it's different in the way you lead everybody to do anything in any organization. So on the company, when we sell anything right now, we not only sell offline. For example, we not only sell in the supermarket or store. Now everything is on a mobile phone. For example, you guys here, right now in Vietnam, we want to buy anything. We go to the Ecom mobile app and we search something. The reason why? Because faster, right? Because it's cheaper, right? And because it's more diversity for you guys. You can search everything and you don't have any geography limitation for buying things and finding things. That's why the customer buying behavior change already lead to the way company try to sell something also change to follow that. And because the company changed and also all of us changed. Right now we can use a lot of uh, software, computer, mobile to do work. It's much faster than long time before. We don't want to do paperwork anymore. We use a lot of system and we use a lot of tool. That's why you can see here, we don't try to store too many paper. And we try to utilize everything to do faster, more effectively, and uh, we can have a higher productivity. So the staff working behavior changed already. All of that changing, the way we change of the behavior when we do buying things, when we do selling things, when we do working, everything changed, all of that changing we call digital transformation. And from my point of view, digital transformation is not only about tech or data. And I will tell you why. I will do a, little, a small comparison. No? Long time before, and maybe until now we still have a part of that, the staff and the customer try to sell the thing is by human interaction and we use the feeling. For example, the customer go to the store to buy some clothes. We use the feeling to feel how that girl 
which type of color she will like, type of dress, style, anything by feeling. And we use communication in version to try doing things. But now, okay, but now the way we do everything is changed. For example, we have a lot of app, e-commerce app. We can, uh, I mean e-commerce application, you go there and you can have on the list of products you want to, to buy and you just see the review to choose that and you just buy and sell through the app. So you have the barrier here is the digital touch point, tech and data. For last period of time, we use feeling, but now we use a lot of tech and data. For a long, last period of time, we use human interaction, but now everything is by on digital touch point. You don't talk to the staff anymore. You just touch on the mobile or website or everything to buy anything, right? So because the way they sell it before is different. So the way the company, the leader, do the work and run the company is also different. Uh, the leader tried to build a lot of working process to teach everyone to do step by step. And at that time, the staff is still not too many and maybe in the small location, so it's still okay. But for a long time of grow your, growing your business, your company have more and more staff, even thousands of staff. You cannot do, it, do that anymore. You cannot use the, the feeling, the business sense to make decision anymore. You need to use a lot of system. For example, right now in the school, you also have the, the system. Everybody can go there to search your certificate, to search your grade of the last examination, something like that. We use the system. And the, that's why we need a digital leader. Digital leader. What's different from leader? You can see the reason here. The digital leader, instead of just only feeling, they need to know about tech and data, to know how to sell things and how to run the company. And in management, instead of just only teach them how to do step by step and use the business sense, we need to learn how to use the system and how to have the data-driven mindset because the system don't talk directly to you like the staff. You just use them and they just talk to you through data. So you need to read and understand how the machine talk to you. And you understand and you can make decision for your business. That's why you need to know about how to use system and data. That's, and that is also why we call digital leader, okay? It's quite a bit complicated. How can we start? Okay, so I will tell you guys three main steps to start to be ready to become a digital leader. First, you need to do day-to-day -day optimize. It means from now, in every work, every day, instead of just follow the process step by step, you need to think about how to make it better. You need to use something like the software on the computer. So step one is try to digitalize your work. And step two, try to make it faster. For example, you can use some tools, some machine to do that automatically. You don't need to do that anymore, but I think in the future you will learn about that later. But be aware that you need to use tech as one part of your skill set for the future. You need to know how to use that. And in any step, you can use a lot of software and also can use a lot of data for your work. I give you one simple example. Right now, on the, on the social media, we can do a lot of ads, advertisement, to run advertisements and sell your product. But there's a lot of software can do that for you. You don't need to copy and paste anymore. You need to don't need to wake up really early in the morning anymore. There is the software do that for you. You just need to know how to search the right software to work for you, okay? 
Okay, that's one sample. And number two, be a smart user. When right now you use a lot of social media, you use a lot of uh, application on your phone, but before you step up to download it and viewing everything step by step when you open the app, you should step back and think why you need it and which app will be better for you because there is many, many, many apps the same, same function. And then when you choose the best one already, it's not, it's not all. You need to hold on to think. When I fill in all of this information, is that good or any bad thing will happen to me? Is that confidential or not? So you need to be careful with all the software, all the tool you use. And it's also the same thing when you graduate from school and go to the company. All the software in the company is also be create to help on the staff to work faster, better, and higher quality. But it's not fit you. Maybe it's, it's, it may not fit you. So you, when you follow the process of the company, you still need to think how to make it better. And you can st uh, stand up and talk to your manager that I can just change a little bit in the software and we can optimize all the process for all of us. For example, you just raise your voice to tell them, just optimize one step on the software. But your department have 100 steps. You save a lot, a lot of time for them. So be a smart user is not only follow the system, just like robot, no, we are human. We need to know how to create the system, okay? Okay, number three, read the data story. As I just told you guys, the computer, the software don't talk directly with you like me, and we still need to com in somehow communicate with them to work. So how you can understand our system? how we can understand our customer out there when they just only go to the mo uh, mobile app. You don't talk to them, right? And also your staff, they just use the software, you cannot talk to them. So you need to know how to read the data in the system. Actually, in the company, all the data when the staff or the customer, when they type typing something or do any action on the software, we all recorded. The coding also record the data. And you can use that to optimize all of your uh, work and you can read that and know how to make decisions for your work. Okay? Okay, so that is all about three steps. Step one, day-to-day -day optimization. Step two, be a smart user. And step three, read the data story to communicate with tech and data, okay? So the digital, digital leaders is not only about tech and data, but it's all about how to lead on the tech data tool to work for you, okay? So that's everything from my talk today. Let be ready to be the digital leader and change the way you lead to be the leader in the future in the digital era. Thank you, my name is Vanessa, thank you.